time. So anyway, yeah, feet together and get the band around your ankles. Just make sure it's flat, like so. Okay. <laughs> if you start walking, you'll feel like a pain in the Okay, so if everyone faces, in fact, if everyone faces the crew, give yourself space, I know. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do three exercises with the pants to start with. And we're uh, going to sort of be hip width apart, okay? And uh, it's always pointing forward. And what you're going to do is knee slight bent, but just slight bent. You're going to take a step out to the side and then back. So out to the side, back to the middle, and then back. So, and also in court, try and tighten your core a little bit as well here. And it, it, a little bit of coordination is going to be needed here. So, I'm going to do 10 of these. One, two, three, right back, stomach tight. Should feel your butt on the leg that you're standing on, tensing up. It's working hard, and then you can slow. Knee slow, bend, bend to the side, and then back. Bend to the side, and then back. Okay. And stay where you are, and but we're going to come forward a little bit more. Just so no one's opposite you, forward a little bit more. Okay. So what you're going to do is grab walks. So you're going to keep your feet shoulder width apart, hands above your head. And you don't, don't walk yet, you're going to take six steps one way, six, six steps the other. So when you lift one foot, the other foot just comes in. So you sort of keep in easy distance the whole time. Knees are straight. So you do six of them, and then we're going to go the other way. Six the other way. But don't do this. Okay, so you've got to keep them shoulder apart. Where you go. Shoulder width apart. So whatever this is your just one foot, just the other one. You only need six one or six the other time. I think I was trying to do <laughs> Okay. Next one you're gonna do is on the floor, you're gonna push your position, so a little bit of low level core work, get some uh, pressure through the shoulders. I want the uh, the feet hip width apart. Now I'm gonna show you first, and uh, I'm going to lift one leg in the air, hold for one second. Squeeze your butt on the leg that's in the air, and then toe touch. You do five in a row, and then just toe touch. Five in a row, so where you go. Anyway, when it's in the air, you hold for one second. The leg that's lifted, you want to keep it straight. So tight your stomach. Drop your hip down, five on the inside, five the inside. Done. Drop your hips down a little bit more down. Tight your stomach a little bit more. Keep yeah. breathing as well, breathing's good here. I'm just having to support that as well, that premium work. Alright, back up on your feet. Um, so you flick one band out. You can keep it on if you want the other side. It's just handier, but it might just come off. That's no problem. So you're going to now start doing a little bit more movement. So you're going to go lunge. Push your hands to the side. So it's lunge and rotate. But I don't want you to twist your lower back so much. I just actually want you to push. And tighten your core at the same time. So you're getting a nice stretch down here. You've been doing a lot of this when you're playing anyway. If anyone send you to the front or the back. So you lunge. So it's head there, alternating. Nice tall posture. Don't twist the back. Just push the arms to the side and then step back. So you're constantly keeping your posture. Try and drop the back knee down a little bit more. Doesn't touch the ground. Time your course, smooth movement. It's not rushed. So you push that way, you push this way. Yeah, so you sort of push as if you were actually hitting a shot, so you push that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Ten. Okay. Back down to a you do uh, I'll show you to do. Okay, so you walk out into a push up position. Stomach tight, one push up, walk back, slightly bend your knees, hold it for about three, four, five seconds, back up again, and then you walk back again. Push up, stomach tight, 
walk back, three, four, five seconds, and just get a slight hamstring stretch, start stretch, three, four seconds, but it actually feels very nice. Where you go? So you're going to walk out into a push up, then do the push up, then you're going to walk back. Keep your knees bent when you walk back, tuck your fingers underneath your toes, slightly raise your back to the ceiling, and then you can walk out straight away actually from that position. Walk out again into a push up. in as well, raise your back nice into the ceiling and then relax. Same in that position. Back, sorry, stand four. You're going to do three, one leg, three the other. Um, again, you're going to start in this position here. You're going to do a one leg lunge, very good for the hip, very good for the back, very good for the core, as long as you keep your back stiff. The leg is standing on is completely straight. Then you're going to slightly bend it, push out, hold for a second, back up. And try and clench your butt and tighten your stomach, and away you go again. So you're going to do three one leg and three the other. Nice, smooth, slow move. So, starting position is clench your butt on the leg. There you go. Best of luck with this. Smooth movement. Three in a row, yeah. So you're going to start. Yeah. And keep your posture, keep your back stiff, turn up here as well. Yeah, it's big. And then switch leg once you've done three. Give you scum out. We'll do a little bit of light ghosting and then we'll actually stay on here and then move into the movement part of it uh, without actually going in and out of the room so okay straight into steps so no real term or name for this but just step out step back so mini bands step out step back there you go yeah knees a little bit bent so a little bit quicker a bit more dynamic stomach tight as well good posture need a little bit of a rhythm to it as well So it's 10 steps one side and it's 10 steps the other. Should be feeling it around the hip muscles, the glutes. They're very much activating and warming them up. When you do you that? The core as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on here. You feel it here? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Then you're into the crab walk. Keep yourself room. Toes pointed forward, shoulder width apart. Six steps. Stomach tight. Nice and high with your hands. You're going to get a better, a better activation here. <coughs> Don't let that right foot in, turn into his close head. Then straight into the hip extensions of pulleys. So very much you want to keep both knees very straight, stomach tight, lift, hold for one second, back down. Hold for one second, back down. Where you go? Just with the tip on. Yeah, yeah, with the bands on. Five one side, five other. Breathe, 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 stomach tight. Yeah, the time just comes a little bit more there. And then just toe touch. Nice and light when the foot goes down, you just toe touch. Keep breathing. You should be feeling this in your glutes, your foot on both sides. But predominantly the leg that's moving up and down. Okay, when you're done, back up into the lunge. Straight away, you can take the band off there for good. And just throw it anywhere into the side maybe. And then you're going to go lunge and rotate. So again, nice rhythm. Where you go, lunge and rotate. From the way, that way. Yeah. Try and bend the back knee a bit more. If you had any knee pain, it's not an ideal exercise. 
Dead in the knee pain is probably not ideal playing squash, but. Kieran, you're the best. Adam. Dave needs a bit of a screen. <laughs> We're all US on the spot, right? Okay. And then we are into the push up. Okay. Yeah. Push up, down, one push up, then walk back. Knee slide bent, four or five seconds. You don't have to straighten the knees, but you slightly straighten the knees, right? It's a stretch. Back out straight away. Sort of calm you down a little bit. Okay. 